welcome back. It is time for our weekly chat with Tony Biasotti at the Pacific Coast Business Times. And today we're talking about batteries. And Tony, you just interviewed researchers at Battery Streak in Camarillo. What are they working on? Yeah, uh, this article is in our, our new issue this week, and it's by our staff writer, Jorge Mercado. Uh, Battery Streak is a, uh, a company that's in Camarillo, spun off from UCLA from the work of a couple of UCLA professors. Uh, they do not manufacture batteries exactly. They make a battery component um, from a, a, a metal called titanium niobium oxide. I think I got that right. Uh, basically, it improves the life of a battery, uh, keeps it from overheating, uh, makes it charge faster and hold the charge longer. So obviously there's a lot of, you know, applications for that in our, in our world. And obviously different than your typical battery, right? Which has a, a chemical reaction, if you will. And it sounds like, you know, the, the faster somebody wants to charge something, the hotter the device gets, the, uh, the charging device. Right. And they're, yeah, their products uh, counter that. Um, they have they're in kind of an early stage in their company, but they have raised some venture capital, I believe about $5 million uh, so far last year. And they are hoping, they're basically ramping up to get you know production started by end of this year, early next year. Um, they've talked about, we talked to them about, you know, is this gonna help with electric cars, improved range, charging times and all that. Um, the answer is maybe, but not right away. It just takes a long time, many years to break into that market to get, you know, if you're doing something to a car battery, the amount of testing and all that that you have to do to satisfy auto companies and the federal government and all that is quite extensive, but they're hoping to do that in a few years. Uh, they have been talking already to uh, the military, to drone makers, to uh, medical companies uh, for, you know, some really important, potentially life-saving uh, applications for, for battery-powered things that they can hopefully get to work better. Yeah, I think one of the advantages to this from reading the article was that this is going to work with current technology. In other words, you don't have to retool. Uh, they've somehow been able to work this into what exists already into the current technology. Right. Their products can be used for, you know, manufacturing of new batteries, but they can also be used on existing batteries. Uh, when Jorge, our reporter, visited them, they, you know, just demonstrated there's some regular old Panasonic batteries, I guess. Um, here's how we can, you know, get them to charge 10 or 12 times faster. Say, I love the brain trust link, if you will, to our local colleges and these entrepreneurs. It's really fascinating. Yeah, we, we write a lot about uh, technology companies spun off of UCSB. This one's UCLA, but they've chosen to, to base their company in Ventura County. You know, the one thing that's interesting about this uh, area of industry is that this is really a hot hotbed of, of uh, research right now, trying to make our batteries more um, self-sufficient, if you will. And safer. And safer, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, not something I've seen a lot of other companies in our area working on, but uh, it's, it's obviously huge globally. Absolutely, and, and excited to see this go mainstream once they really take off. Tony Biasotti, thank you so much for thank taking you. time out of your afternoon to talk to us today. Appreciate it. Thanks, Tony. Thank you. Thanks for having me.